we are observing Purushottam Vrata, as I said yesterday. Today will be shorter program because we have guests, sannyasi guests later on. So I will read the glories of Purushottam Mant. Supreme Lord Shri Krishna spoke to Narayan in front of Extramant. Aham eter yata loke pratitah Purushottama tathayam api lokeshu pratitah Purushottama asmai samarpitah sarve ye gunamai samstita mat sadrishyam upagamya masana madipo bhavet jagat pujyo jagat bandyo masoyam tu bhavishyati sarve masah sakamascha nishkamaya maya krita a kama sarva kama va yo dhima sam prapujaye karmani bhasma sat krito mam evaishyati asangshayam kadachin mama bhaktanam aparadeti ganyate purushottama bhaktanam na parada kadachana ya etasmin mahamura japa danadi varjita sat karma snan rahita deva tirta dvijadi sha Jayante Durbaga Dushtah Para Bhagyo Pajivana Nakadachit Sukkam Tesha Swapnepi Shasha Shringavat Yenaham Archito Bhaktya Masesmin Purushottame Dhana Putra Sukkam Bhunktva Paschat Golokavasa Bhak He Rama Pati Naren Just as I am celebrated in this world by the name Purushottam Similarly, these Adimas too will be renowned in the world by the name Purushottam. Now I offer all my qualities to this month. Becoming like me, from today onwards, this Adimas is the monarch of all the other months and is the most worshipable and most adored in the world. All other months are Sakama, that is, they will grant worldly desires. This month, however, is Nishkama. Those who worship this month, either without any desires or with all types of desires, will have all their karmas burned. Then they will achieve me. My bhaktas sometimes commit offenses, but in this Purushottam month, they will be protected from committing any offense. In this Adimas, those greatly foolish persons who neglect to perform auspicious activities, such as japa, giving in charity, visiting and bathing at the holy places, and who are envious of the Dvijas, are deemed wicked, unfortunate, and living at the cost of others. Thus, they will not attain a scent of happiness even in their dreams. Conversely, those who are filled with bhakti will take advantage of this Purushottam month to perform archan to me. After enjoying worldly happiness, such as wealth, sons and so on, they will eventually attain residence in Goloka. And we are hearing prayers of Lord Brahma. Tavat raga dayah stenas, tavat kara griham griham. Tavan mohon gri nigado, yavat Krishna na te jana. My dear Lord Krishna, until people become your devotees, their material attachments and desires remain thieves. Their homes remain prisons and their affectionate feelings for their family members remain food shackles. Here, commentary by Srila Sai Maharaja's disciples. Apparently, the residents of Brindaban, the abode of Lord Krishna, are simple householders engaged in ordinary affairs such as herding cows, cooking, rearing children, and performing religious ceremonies. However, all these activities are intensely engaged in the loving service of Lord Krishna. 
The residents of Vrindavan perform all activities in pure Krishna consciousness and thus exist on the most exalted platform of liberated life. Otherwise, the same activities performed without Krishna consciousness constitute ordinary bondage to the material world. Thus, one should not misunderstand the exalted position of the residents of Vrindavan, nor should one consider oneself highly religious simply because one performs ordinary domestic affairs very enthusiastically, but without Krishna consciousness. By focusing our passionate attachment on our family and society, we are completely deviated from the progressive path of Krishna consciousness. Conversely, if we engage our family in the loving service of the Lord, our endeavors to maintain our family become part and parcel of our progressive spiritual duties. The Bhakti Thakur also nicely explained this point in his songbook Sharanagati. In conclusion, by studying the extraordinary status of the residents of Brindavan, we can see that the essential quality of their lives is pure Krishna consciousness. The rendering of loving service to the Lord without a trace of material desire or mental speculation. Such loving service to the original personality of Godhead immediately creates the atmosphere of Sri Brindavan Dham, the kingdom of God. Like Srila Bhakti Nautakur told in those songs, Jedi no grihe bhajana deke grihe te gulukabhai. When I see bhajan in some house, then immediately Golok manifests there. Bhajan means one who realized I belong to Krishna and this house belongs to Krishna. All family members belong to Krishna. Everything belongs to Krishna. So in this Krishna consciousness, he is serving Krishna and all others in relation to Krishna. That is the atmosphere of Golok. Brindavan, real blissful life, even in this world. So tomorrow we will hear explanation of this verse by Srila Bishwana Chakravati Thakur.